Reddit, what is your silent, unseen act of personal defiance? When a kid is being a brat in a noisy and public area, I casually get close to them and fart on their head slash face. I'm really tall, so it's usually a direct hit. It's funniest when the kid notices and doesn't know what to do because I'm a fucking giant and I leave them if they tell their mommy. If I decide to stare it's usually with them. Yeah, what the fuck are you gonna do about it? I'm about 6 feet 7 inches sir. Even when I'm just trying to be friendly. That is not farting on a stranger's kid's head and meeting a family member's or friend's kid for the first time. I've noticed they get very high between their mother's legs intimidated on sight. If I'm not sitting down. So it's not hard for me to silence slash intimidate a child. Especially when I'm trying to. However, a few times I've been called out. One time I was pretty drunk with a friend at a target buying risk, and no, we never finished playing the whole game. This little Mexican 527 year old with a mohawk was being an insufferable little shit in the action figure section. I heard him from like 5 aisles over, and it was like nails on a chalkboard. I tell my friend, I'm gonna fart on this kid's head. Watch and learn. I saunter on over to the aisle in question, and see the vile little prick calling his mom an idiot for not buying him a huge fucking G.I. Joe the movie vehicle, which pissed me off even more considering how awful that movie was. Buy some good toys. I already bought that one for you, and you broke it by throwing it down the stairs. Shut up. I need it. It's the only one I don't have now. The mother was younger than me, I'm mid-twenties, and gave a defeated look. I don't have enough money right now. You are an idiot, and continued to just berate and publicly shame this woman. At the time, I was on a strict chipotle carnitas burrito diet, and while I was watching all this, my stomach gave me an initial warning gurgle, very courteous stomach, telling me I was about an hour away from punishing the toilet. Serendipity. Destiny. I inch a bit closer to my prey, inspecting some wrestling toys, and pondering the weird homoeroticness of the whole sport in general. The kid shouts fuck you, I hate you. The mom rolls her eyes and turns her back to the kid to ignore him. And could you believe it, the kid gets on his hands and knees and starts taking the toy out of the box. It's go time, motherfucker. I position my back towards him, and at this point, I'm like 2 feet away from him. His head is down getting frustrated with those goddamn twisty tie things, and I go for the kill. I bend down to reach for the one of the toys on the lower shelf. At this point, my ass is inches away from this kid's head. Now, generally speaking, the best way to go about this is to act casual, drop your belly bomb, then walk away after a few seconds like nothing is out of the ordinary. I usually go one aisle over and listen to the kid's reaction in delight. However, today I couldn't help myself. I have my head tilted back looking at this kid out of the corner of my eye to ensure accuracy. I'm so close that from a distance it looks like I'm about to sit on him. My friend sees this happening and can no longer contain himself. He's covering his mouth, but his he or hyperventilating donkey chortle is fairly audible over the late 90s pop music playing on the loudspeakers. The kid immediately looks up towards the laughter, but can't help but notice there is an ass now directly in his face. Now, I'm trying not to laugh, but also panicking as I just made eye contact with him. He furls his brow and I look over in the mother's direction, still back towards us. I relish in the moment and the look on this child's confused and naive face. The initial blast was mighty and boisterous. I swear I saw his hair blowing in the wind, so to speak. If I wasn't wearing jeans, I think it could have probably blown over an empty soda can. I would call it a very fun fart. A++ would buy again. However, what immediately followed that out the chamber was truly horrifying. The fart's implication changed without notice and swiftly. It went from a joyous dry air horn squeal to a nefarious, hissing mephitis. I think the little moppet noticed the hateful metamorphosis before even I did, because he wretched his neck violently trying to get away from the personified evil, being fumigated into his soul. Because of his positioning, hovering over the toy, hands, and me, it was all in vain as the only way out was forward, and forward would mean certain death. I had positioned myself well on the higher ground, free to escape or relent at any time and him, poor, and immobilized, biding his time until the cruel attack was over. 
Obviously, this child needed to reread Sunti Zedu. In total, it lasted about 4 seconds, but for that kid, it must have seemed like time was frozen. The long term severe brain damage which he no doubt suffered, only added to that effect. When I finished with my business, that is forcing a little boy to huff my farts, there was a silent pregnant pause. The kid was clearly shocked and stunned. No one had ever stood up to this dwarf sociopath in his whole life. I had taken the words out of his mouth, and filled it with fart. I made my move first, picking up the toy I was reaching for off the low shelf, take a few steps forward, and stare at it for a few seconds. Onto alligator, the only thing the kid could manage to do, was burst into tears. My friend senses danger the jig is up, and his head darts for cover. The mom turns around, to see her kid with an open toy, crying on the floor and me minding my own business. She walks up to him, and asks what's wrong, but the kid can't speak. All he gets out is, ball or fart ball. It took every fiber in my body not to laugh. I put the toy back on a middle shelf, turn around, give a final nonchalant luxy, and then begin to take my exit. Sensing that his assailant was getting away scot-free, he somehow managed to compose himself for a moment. He shouts, he farted on me. I could feel him pointing at me, but I continued to act like I was just browsing. I was almost around the corner when the mom goes, excuse me, sir, sir. I turn around nonplussed, up who, me, while pointing to myself. Yes, did you just fart on my son? Weighing my options, I played dumb. What? I mean, I did fart on my son. Well, I mean, technically speaking, I mean, what is on? Why did you fart on my son? At this point the little kid has the look of fruit on his face, happy to see me in trouble. Fuck you, I may man. I will fart on you if I please. I turn my attention to the little kid and stare at him, because the whole store could hear him being a little rotten asshole to his mother, so I thought I'd come over here and treat him like one. The mom looks at me, her son in the scattered G.I. Joe slash rapper slash box on the floor. The mom is puzzled as to what to do and says, just, just go. That's my cue. I turn around, walk away with little extra step. I look up to see the black orb of security cameras and all the stories on Reddit about unjustly having to register as a sex offender flash before my eyes. As soon as I turn the corner, I book it outside as fast as I can, while dialing my friend. Like a true friend, he is right out front with the engine running, and risk in the trunk. We laugh on the car ride back about the whole scene. With a slight hint of seriousness in his tone, my friend asks me, do you do that a lot? Uh, not that much. Like once every six months or so, we both knew I was lying. We got to our other friend's house, played risk until 4 in the morning while drinking scotch. Overall, I would say it was a pretty pretty good day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to turn on notifications, so you'll be sure to know when the next video comes out. Want to watch some more? Check out my other videos. I really do appreciate everyone who helps make these videos possible. And as always, thanks for watching.